This is Dr. David Shine, and welcome to Business Law 101. So, one of the, the common problems that people run into is they'll say, well, I was told I can't talk about politics at work. Is that a violation of my First Amendment rights? And the answer is, unless you work for a state entity or a public entity of some kind, then the state cannot dictate how you live your life under the Bill of Rights. And so, uh, so that's a kind of interesting. So you need to have a state action. So for instance, you're working for a business and they say you can't wear your uh, political pin. And the answer is they certainly can do that. They appeared, uh, you know, have attempted to intervene in the situation, but what we're looking for is state action. So as a private employer, I can tell my employees, don't talk about politics at work. As a government employer, they have to be very careful to not penalize people for what they do off work because that's constitutionally protected. So again, public sector, the government cannot keep, cannot prevent you from talking about your interests or your opinions. But if you work for a private company, the private company can do that. Now, what type of basis are you doing this on? Strict scrutiny is the action of the state. Is anything the state says it's going to do that could restrict your personal privacy or benefits, uh, that's under strict scrutiny. Normal federal legislation is going to be rational basis, day-to-day -day stuff. And then there's something in between intermediate scrutiny is what it's referred to. So if you're making a political speech, you have a strict scrutiny test because courts do not want the local uh, courts to be intervening in, in certain political uh, things that, uh, but for commercial, it's an intermediate, intermediate level of scrutiny, which means that a commercial activity has less protection from the constitution than a, a political or a personal activity.